Welcome to the Empowerment Show with Melissa Heisler on the Linked Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. Talk a little bit more since you've been involved for a while. Um, what are you seeing as some major hurdles or um, areas of growth that your members have experienced through big or just through their business? Are there some common themes that you, you see a lot of business owners going through? Hmm. I, I think in a lot of ways, it's for women especially, it's finding the confidence. And um, it, sometimes in our minds, we, we think we don't have a support system, and really it's that we just haven't fully articulated what the dream that we have is. And so mm -hmm. it's hard for other people to support that. And BIG is such a supportive group that it, it encourages people to bring that dream out and talk about it. And, and once they've articulated it, once they've actually said it out loud, it's a lot easier to follow that path, especially when you know, okay, if I have a question or if I stumble, it's okay, and it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek out the answers through another resource. I don't have to try and figure it all out myself. Mm -hmm. I, I think those are two really good points. Um, one is, and I see this in my own practice as well, whether it's people trying to find a, a job or trying to start a business, being able to really articulate mm -hmm. what it is that they want to accomplish or what it is that they want to be. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's because we think too small or think that we can't be something or, or that fear mm -hmm. of actually putting it out there. Mm -hmm. But there's such a power in actually making a statement or putting it in writing that this is what I'm going to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And I, it, it's right. It's, it's the start way. It's the start of your pathway mm -hmm. to be able to, to put that out there. And I think it's important, too, that um, people can't help you if they don't know where you're going. Um, I always talk about a, a networking event that I went to, and this guy shoved the card at me and goes, I'm a financial advisor. And I said, what am I supposed to do with this? I didn't know where he worked, who he liked to work with, what his specialty were. There was no way that I could refer this individual mm -hmm. because he wasn't clear on what his goals were and who it was that he served. Mm -hmm. And so that clarity, I think, is, is very important. Mm -hmm. And then your other comment was about having that support, you know, and actually asking for it. I think there's... There might be a little fear with business owners that we're supposed to know everything mm -hmm. and um, that it's, it, we're not, and we can't. So it's important to have those people around you who can truly, um, you know, give you feedback in areas you're blind to. We kind of talked about that uh, before we got on the air, that, you know, you might be good with numbers and somebody else might be good with words. So make sure you have the person who's good at, at the different tasks take charge of those right. or get feedback from them. Right. Yeah, that's a good good point. We actually had a, a gal stand up and take her turn in the hot seat, if, if I can tell that story. This was several months ago. She's a real estate agent, and she's a broker, and she's on her own. She doesn't work for one of the big names. She's on her own. And she got up, and she basically said, I want to bring my business to the next level. These are a couple of the struggles I'm having. And um, we had about 22 people there that day, and everyone participated in that conversation. And it led kind of down this great winding path that ultimately gave her an entirely new business model for her business in that she was going to be more of a home buying concierge kind of you know, service or resource that she could connect you to. You're buying a home that needs new carpeting. I've got a great person mm -hmm. for that. It needs a new roof. I've got that, you know, painting, whatever. She was going to, um, at the end, basically the idea was to have this pool of people that she would have as, like, certified, you know, companies with which, you know, she could recommend folks work with. Mm -hmm. And that can be what takes her to the next level. And it was amazing to watch how everybody almost was at the edge of their seat wanting to take their turn to share their idea for her. And then they write those down and hand them to her on a card that we use, which you know serves as a resource for her at the end so she doesn't have to remember all the new ideas. But I felt inspired by that conversation mm -hmm. because she left with a lot of good ammunition to move forward. 
Join Melissa Heisler next week right here at The Empowerment Show on the Linked Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. Learn about the next show and listen to previous shows at linkedlocalnetwork.com slash empowerment. Join the conversation at facebook.com slash the empowerment show or twitter.com slash empowerment show.